What is a gas fee and how do you understand what you'll be paying? Ethereum edition. Gas is the energy required to make a blockchain transaction possible. This is not a fee that goes to the platforms, but instead to the miners making these transactions possible. Anytime that you transact on the Ethereum blockchain, you will be paying a gas fee. The cost of gas is determined using two factors. One, the size of the transaction, and two, the number of people using the network. When we talk about the size of the transaction, you're gonna notice it's a lot cheaper to transfer money than it is to mint an NFT. Also, different platforms have different smart contracts, so the cost of minting NFTs are gonna vary slightly depending on the platform. When you talk about the number of people using the network, you can think of this like an Uber surcharge. The more people that are trying to transact on the network at one time, the higher the rate will be. There's an amazing visual representation of this on txstreet.com. When transacting in MetaMask, you will be given a gas fee and it will be presented in USD. However, gas is measured in GUI, and because the price of ETH is constantly changing, this is not the best metric to determine if you're paying low gas gas fees. 1 billion guay equals 1 ethereum. I usually check ethgasstation.info. It's July and this is pretty good. 40 or 50 would be the highest I've seen over the past few weeks. However, back in January, 100 would have been considered good. So all of this is super relative. Also, remember that 29 guay looks really different when ETH is where it is today versus when it was at 4k. You can also check gas on etherscan.io slash gas tracker. If you scroll down and hit historical gas oracle prices, you can look at the seven day average to help better make a decision. Once you're comfortable with the price in gray, you can go back to MetaMask and you can hit edit. This will bring you to three different options, slow, average, and fast. I tend to either stick with a default or hit average or fast depending on what I'm doing. While there are more advanced gas controls, I don't recommend doing that or honestly hitting slow. This is because if you have a gas price that is too low, there's a chance that your transaction will get stuck. If your transaction gets stuck, you'll have to wait for that to clear before doing anything else. Don't worry, I'll teach you guys how to fix that. But because you will have to transact on the blockchain to fix it, you guessed it, it'll cost you gas. 